about machine in front of you, so intoxilizer. It sounds something to do with getting intoxicated. What exactly is it? This is basically the breathalyzer instrument. Basically, we have two, two types of breathalyzer instruments. We have the intoxilizer 8000, which is this big one here. And we have a smaller one, which is the SD5, the screening device version 5. The screening device is basically carried on the road by our officers to suit their suspicion. So in any case where they think that you are driving under the influence, they can stop you and administer a test with this, the SD5. Oh, if it so happened that you have exceeded this, the, 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 the limit, by which is which is 35 the micrograms per 100 milliliters of what that thing. <laughs> so when the instrument take in 100 milliliters of your breath, it matches it. If you so happen to have any alcohol concentration within your system, if you exceed the 35, there and then you are arrested. You would be arrested by the officer and taken to the nearest breathalyzer center that is at the nearest um, police station to you. Yeah. Alright? So this is the instrument that they will place you on. Because this one cannot be taken to the court. This is just a preliminary test. So this one is an evidential instrument where they actually take your driver's license from you, the documents for the vehicle, and basically place the information in the machine here. And then they actually administer this. So this instrument basically dispenses a receipt with all the necessary information for court. So it's not a word of mouth business. Yes, I, so you would actually sign to it and all the necessary. What if I you come to you and I say I don't want to do a breathalyzer because I, 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 I'm not making you do any tests. I don't want to touch anything. I do, you know, what are the consequences? According to the road traffic act, you can be arrested and charged for failing to give a sample of breath. Yes, the road traffic act covers that. Okay. Yes, it is as as what kind of fine am I looking at? It basically depends on the, 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 um, the judge. You know, if you can actually be fined up to even $60,000. Yes, because there and then you, are, you would have been seen as being guilty. So the, yes, but the question would be why wouldn't you? Why is it that you don't want to give a sample of your bet? What is it that you're hiding? Then you'll be just seen as being a guilty person. We have two, in, two other instruments here. Yes. Speed instruments, that is. One is a radar, one is a laser. The radar is the older version. Oh. But we still use it though, nevertheless. It actually displays a readout of the target speed on the screen. We have upgraded though to the laser technology instrument, the true cam. What it does is basically videos. It takes a picture, it shows the time of the it actually highlights the target from a distance. Yes, and it videos, videos for a couple of seconds well. Okay. Maybe even over a minute or so. Okay. Yes, so when you have, you, you have been stopped, it, it can be as polite as to show you about the video. <laughs> yeah, yes, for transparency reasons. How many vehicles can it take at a time? One. It actually um, can show one vehicle at a time. So if a bunch of vehicles are coming, the laser is, is, is very much accurate because it can it basically highlights that vehicle out of the batch of vehicles and actually take a recording from that distance come straight to the officer's boat. What when I say that boy it's not me alone who's driving fast, why you pick on me? Well it's not a matter of pick, it is a matter where the instrument actually highlights the one that is going the fastest. Oh, yes. So you actually can replay it for you to see exactly what took place. All right, sir. Thank you. Those involved police service vehicles and other government agencies that their vehicles involved in crashes. What are these machines? What are they for? All right. First of all, to my left, to my right, this is the event data retrieval tool kit, right? This is a tool that is used to pull crash data from motor vehicles, right? That can assist with the analysis in addition to other roadway evidence to formulate conclusions as to how collisions occur. Um, you're going to the black box. Is that a, another way of putting it? Yes, the black box. This is actually the black, the box that persons are referring to as a black box. It's, it's, it's actually the event data recorder. It's a part of the airbag, it, well, it is the airbag control module. So every vehicle that has an airbag has this module installed in it. 
right? And this is the box that actually stores the data that is that is as a result of crashes. All right. Well, as you drive along, this little device um, records everything that is happening. In even general collision at an impact, it locks in five seconds of information. Right? And that information is what we image with this tool that can assist with our investigation. And you have some fancy looking thing here, so what's, what's, what's this? Okay. This is yeah. actually a true cam impulse, a section of a, a laser scan that is used to map collision scenes. So it's just a section of it. This piece of device here is a very com performance computer. This is what is used to test the friction level of the road surfaces. So in, the, in any area where the collision occurred, I would need to know the friction level of that surface. As it relates to its, its advantage or disadvantage to breaking, this is the device that we use to test that surface. And that, um, that friction level is used sometimes in, in, in equation that you use to calculate speed and all of that. Question, how relevant and critical it is for you to get to an accident scene as soon as possible? Because when you speak of these, some of these can be washed away. Yeah, very critical because most uh, crash, most evidence that are accident scene are short lived evidence. Skid marks, other road surface marks, outside of gouge marks that will be there for quite some time. Marks that have um, colored, that, that, that are colored on the surface, gouge marks that are created by shoe, in a, say, an example, in a, mode, a pedestrian collision, and those marks are shortly for evidence. So it is important for us to get there as soon as possible. But notwithstanding that, as long as the vehicle has an airbag, and the airbag module is still intact, right, we can get data from that that can assist with the investigation. All right, so I want to thank you very much for your display and time. Right. There's also another component to the event data retrieval, which is the software. So in addition to the module and the cables, there's a software that is a part of the whole process. Yes, indeed. All right. Thank you, sir.